We're down to the last episode before the finale of the Digital Mole Little Secrets. During the last episode's episode, agents had to race to eat six ice cubes in under a certain amount of time. The group was successful at earning $8 from that challenge, and the mole took $4. The players are currently sitting at $164, and the mole has earned $60. With only two more challenges left, will the players be able to stay strong and make some more cash? Hopefully. This weekend, we first lost Scott and Carly. Then, after Saturday's quiz, Lauren became the 12th player executed. Now, only five agents remain. Four are innocent. One is the mole. After tonight, we will have our finalists. Are you ready for some questions? Questions for all tonight. Everyone gets every question. First question, which of these players is not the mole? Talk about it. Tara, you're first. Um, Andrew's definitely not the mole. Like I said before, there was the moment where I did question it. He said one thing that I was like, hmm, but no, he's just, I mean, look at him. He's just so sweet and he just wears it on his sleeve and you just... He's not the mole. He's not. I have no poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Erica. Um, I am not the mole. No. Um, <laughs> I am going to go with, I'm going to go Andrew as well. He's He's been, I think we've both shared a lot and been very forthcoming with each other. And I, and I feel that he is, um, the tension is palpable when, when he's waiting to hear if he's safe or not safe or, or all that. So I believe Andrew is not the mole, I think. All right. Andrew, can't um, pick yourself. <laughs> I, oh, oh my gosh, double Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> One of those Shannons is innocent and the other is not. Um, Erica, I, I don't think Erica's the mole. And um, that's because so many people have told me going into quizzes that, you know, I think it's Erica, or I'm going to at least answer a few questions, Erica, and then they always get kicked. So it's not Erica. Interesting. Jesse. I'm going to go with Andrew and it just scares me because if he's played me this entire game, I'm just going to feel I'm just, I'm, there's going to be a lot of emotions there. Just so <laughs> many emotions. The betrayal. Betrayed. <laughs> All right, and Shannon? Sorry about the uh, twin thing. I <laughs> started off on my phone and I switched over to my computer. Um, I feel really confident at this point with who the mole is. And I feel very, almost 100% certain that it's not Erica. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> All right. And second question for you, everyone, is who is the sneakiest player in the final five? Talk about that a little bit. Who is the sneakiest? Tara, you're first. Again. <laughs> I shuffled, Again? I wow. shuffled it, but um, you were first. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> who's the sneakiest? That's the yeah. question. Yeah. Oh, um, Hmm. Well, I've been really bad recently at like communicating with anyone, um, just life in general. So um, I would say the person that I have heard from the least would be Jesse. I haven't heard from him recently. I heard from him, a, you know, quite a bit um, at a certain point, but I haven't heard from him a bit. So mm, a little bit sneaky there. <laughs> Shannon. I think I would also say Jesse, not because we're not chatting, but because I feel like, I feel like Jesse, when I talk to him, he might be going and doing something else. Just a vibe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Erica. I'm also going to say Jesse. And again, it's not, <laughs> my reasoning, my reasoning is of the five of us, he has the most experience in this game. So I, I think when I communicate with him, he's 
more again more experienced and better at keeping a lot of his cards closer to the vest um and there's times where i thought he was the mole and then there's times where i didn't think he was like i'm wondering if he wanted to act moly to throw us off so that's kind of you know petting chickens coloring pizza boxes things like that might just be you know so i so i'm gonna go with jesse Jesse. I have all the love, though. <laughs> I've just been wondering, can you frame a pizza box? That's That's been my question over the last couple of weeks. I bet you could. Um, I'm going to say Andrew, because he's just playing with my emotions. My emotions <laughs> are all askew. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew? Andrew? <laughs> Um, who's the sneakiest? Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like anyone in my conversations with them has been anything but forthcoming. So that's a hard question to answer because I feel like I've talked to everyone pretty recently and had honest conversations. Um, but like Tara said, she hasn't been as, you know, talky with everyone recently. So, um, that's the only thing that would make me say Tara is sneaky. <laughs> so I guess Tara. You sneaky people, you. But Jesse, you're the worst. <laughs> All right, one more question. How would you Jesse, feel? Jesse might be the best, depending on how you look at it. So true, true. Sneaky is part of the name of the game here, right? All right, so this is the last question for tonight. How would you feel if you were eliminated tonight, the night before the finale? Talk about that a little bit. And I'm going to make sure Tara's not first. Okay, she's not first. Jesse. <laughs> I got to be in every episode. That was my goal. That was my goal right there, you know, so that people can see me, so that the world <laughs> can learn to love me and these hot lips. Awesome. <laughs> these, <laughs> these hot lips. Oh my God. Okay. Tara, you're second. <laughs> um it, it it's 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 dawning like I, I feel it like I'm I'm pretty run down after the last couple of days not this just everything and so I am not on my best game tonight and I'm and I realized that coming in um so I will be super proud that I've made it this far um again the goal was always just just to make it through that first episode just so I could see what it was like and, uh, you know, so we can check that box. So it's been fun. So if this is it, then I've had a blast. Awesome. Andrew. Um, I think I said in one of the first episodes that I'm not very competitive and I just kind of wanted to play the games. Um, and so this, the second to last episode, I've pretty much played all the games. So I'm happy win or lose. Um, it'll just be scary if my screen what is it what does it go to waiting just room? goes to the waiting room yeah it'll be like <laughs> dejected suddenly and oh. scott was telling me the other day that he uh he didn't look he did this like every time and then when he did not hear me saying a name of someone he knew and he looked up and saw waiting room but he wasn't gonna look <laughs> he was like oh. you know so um it is a little crazy to like all of a sudden your screen goes blank and there's just the waiting room sign uh shannon um <clears throat> i would be pissed <laughs> because i've put a lot of i i fully didn't anticipate i think like most of the people on screen here did not anticipate to be this far in the game um and i think that even if i make it to the finale and i don't get my answers in quick enough because I feel really confident about who the mole is at this point. Um, I'll be really excited to have made it to the finale, but tonight mm -hmm. getting kicked off would, I'd, I'd, I'd have to instantly join the next mole. Like I just, I'd have to try to redeem myself. Uh, in my last game, I did make it to the finale, but I was third place, so. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd be yes. fine with third, honestly. I mean, but I was happy because I made it to the end too. So this is like the toughest night uh, because it's the one right before that. So uh, Erica, how would you feel? 
disappointed. Um, like Tara, I was at the beginning of this game, I had no delusions of grandeur. Um, I worried that as personality wise, I'm too trusting, um, not good at lying. I don't like deceiving people. And I just didn't know. I, I honestly didn't expect to do well in this game. And I was like, I just don't want to go first. However, having made it this far and each time my goal is not to win. Like tonight I was talking to people. I said, I just want to survive tonight. I just want to make it to finale night. And then <laughs> if I make it to finale night, my goal may change. Um, so I'd be really, really disappointed, especially since I haven't played the mole before, but I played big brother and I never got eliminated until the very last night. So I kind of want to re repeat that showing, you know, at least making it there. So we'll see. And it was by one of one of the fellow agents too, right? Uh, yeah, by by Scott. <laughs> but in his defense, even though he had a final two deal with me, in his defense, a lot of people came to me after and said, if I was in the final, they would have voted for me. So I think he would have lost. So I totally respect the gameplay of him not honoring that final two. two um, Tara and Andrew, you might know who was in the final two with him then too. It was Connor Burroughs. He right. went, he graduated. Oh, well, Cassidy is his sister, Cassidy oh, Burroughs. Okay, I know her. Oh, I know And he Cassidy. graduated like two years before. So maybe, maybe not, but he played and oh, he wow. was in the final two with Scott and Erica was third in that because Scott kicked her out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, Anywho. side note, digress. So <laughs> let's go back to the mall. Okay. Are you guys ready for a race? Yes. A race. Tonight's challenge is called Brand New Product. All right. And you don't need anything but your bodies and your brains because you got to move. All right. So tonight, the challenge players will be given a category. On go, the players must race to find a product in their homes that has an obvious brand name on it. They must be able to use the letters from the brand name to spell a word that fits the category. Words must be made up of four letters or more, okay? Players can only use the brand name, not the product name or any tagline, subtext, or other text from the packages. And I'm, I have a whole bunch of stuff right here to show you what I mean. Okay. The title is called Brand New Product, so players cannot use a product that actually fits in the category as their answer. So, for example, if the product was uh, kitchen tools or something, you can't be like spoon because that's not it. It's about recreating letters to make a brand new product um, from something that's not typically in that category. Does that make sense so far? So. Here are what I, the things I mean. So if you have this, I have this lovely rum bottle, it's empty. Not that I drank it, okay? But this has a whole bunch of text on it, but the brand name is Bacardi, okay? So you have to make a word out of Bacardi, not anything else, okay? Another example, if I give you this, there's a whole bunch of things like caramel macchiato and your mugs BFF, but it's international delight is the brand name of this product. So you're going to recreate a new word using the letters from those from the brand name. So in this case, maybe light would be the word you got out of it. Or, but you can shuffle up the letters in any way you want, okay, in order to do that. Another example for you. This soup can has tons of words on it, but it is Progresso is the brand name, okay? Now, if you have like a bottle of wine, for some of us in this room who probably have bottles of wine, uh, McNeil is the brand name because this is specific to that company, okay? So the other words here, you can't use them, like what type of wine and stuff, but just McNeil, all right? Does that make sense now? Yeah. Yeah, Erica. Just just to be sure I understand, like, so if you had a box, box of Frosted Flakes, it would actually be Kellogg's. Correct. Kellogg's okay. would be the brand name. Okay. Yep, exactly. So okay. I was trying to figure out the best way to make that clear. And the, the easiest way is to say brand name only. Okay. okay. Now, brand names can be tricky. This is cherry pomegranate sparkling water, but it is Wegmans brand. 
so it's Wegmans. But this is also Wegmans brand. So you could only use Wegmans one time. So you can't use this and this because Wegmans can only be used once. So watch for that because you can't use the same thing twice. And that I didn't say yet, but it was in the next rule here. You cannot use the same brand twice. You have to use a different brand name each time. Does that make sense? Yeah. One more okay. question. Yep. Can I go get my sneakers that are just over there? Sure. Let me finish up the instructions here and then yes, yeah. then everyone can prepare and be ready for that. Okay. So um, if I give you a category, you just have to be able to mix up the letters from the brand name. You don't have to use all the letters, but it needs to be a word that's at least four letters long. Okay. And, and a lot of these categories, I have examples. And if you use the example, that's totally fine too. All right. Like if you just go with one that I give you, you might be able to make those words. And if you can, that's fine too. If you have other things that fit the categories and you create them, that's great, okay? Does that make sense so far to everyone? Um, I have like a million products here, but I think that that's, that's pretty good. I even have baby food, which was from my last game, but this is, we never used it. This is Gerber, obviously, but like there's all these other things here. You can't use that. Okay, now the last thing is you can only use the thing once. So you can't be like Bacardi, Bacardi, Bacardi. You have to have a different item each time and a different brand name each time. Okay, there's lots of things in your house that have brand names. So you're, you just be creative. All right, Shannon. All right, how many um, rounds of this will there be? Where are we gonna get like, four things with brand names or one thing and then you with your eyebrows okay never mind there are 10 rounds whoa it's a race it's crazy hat on. all right so you must return to the camera really in under a minute and a half with a product and be able to spell a word out that fits the category all right if a majority of the players can return and do that, then you win $2, okay? So that means three of you have to because that's the majority. All right, Shannon. So it doesn't have to be just like kitchen stuff, right? It could be like- no, you can be whatever. Bathroom or- Yep, anything that has a brand name right on it, yes. Okay. okay. So it could be like even your like clothing. You know what I mean? Like anything that has a brand name. Um, if by chance, you give me some, you come back and you're like, I'm making this word out of corn chowder. And I say, no, that doesn't count because it's not the brand name. You just gotta go with it because it's not the brand name. Don't fight me. Use Progresso. All right. All right, Andrew. Um, so you said we can't repeat our own, like I can't use Bacardi twice, but if Jesse uses Bacardi, can I then use it? Yes. Okay. It's just your own 10 cannot be repeated. Yep, everyone can, you can all use the same things as other people, but you cannot repeat in your own home. Okay, yeah. everyone get it? Some of these are tougher than others. Some are easy, but it's one of the final challenges. So it's gotta be crazy. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Any more questions before we get started? Are you gonna no. let me get sneakers? Get some sneakers on now. Okay, thank you. First show. I got to set up a timer on that. So, so what I'll do is I will say three, two, one, and go just like normal. Okay, I'll count it down. Don't leave till I say go. You're not even gonna give us like the category first. I will. Oh my god. Nigga, we're gonna do this one at a time. We don't have to go grab ten. Correct. Right one at okay. a time. One at a time. <laughs> okay. Well, all five of you will go on the round, but yes, one at a time. I won't be like here's ten things. Go. You have to do ten things in a minute and a half. Wait, no, we don't. <laughs> That's insane. Never said no, it's insane. Camera. Just diabolical. I am sometimes. It's, but this one, you don't have to eat the things. Oh, thank God. I'm trusting you that that wasn't. Or do a you? <laughs> With the eyebrows. Uh, All right, my it. sneakers are on. I'm ready. Marty's okay, playing. everyone ready? So I'll say the I'll say the category and then I will count down three, two, one. I'll say go, and that's when I'll start the time. 
Um, you just have to be back with the product and be able to spell a word using the brand name with at least four word, four letters, correct. Or more. It can be, if it's a longer word than magic, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so the first category is farm animals. Three, two, one, go. Who knows how they'll do. Lots of products in their house, but 15 seconds is gone already. Crazy. Did you get one? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm like, now we're going to unscramble it. You said the word just, like, how much time? 34 seconds. Oh you said the God. word can't be actually in the thing, right? No, it, if it is, then it is. Okay, cool. But you can use the letters to unscramble. Farm animals? Farm animals, yep. Oh, shit. This is not going to go well. This is hard. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Oh. Can it be a plural word? Yeah. I feel like I found something that had the. Hold on. Time's ah. up. Time's up. Time's up. I don't know any barn animals. Okay, let's see what we got. Because we got three people that got back with something. So, Jesse, what do you have? You're on mute. So, just. Orville Redenbacher. Orville Redenbacher. Yeah. And what's your word? Hens. Perfect. All right. Tara. Tara Soul. And what's your animal? Rats. Okay. Rats would be at a farm. <laughs> Shannon, what did you have? Mrs. Myers Clean Day. All right. And what word did you figure out in that? I have no word. Andrew, Maybe be a good guy and give us like a dollar. I may not have followed the rules. I'm still trying to grapple with it. Gray goose. And you're going to say goose, goose right? Yeah. Goose. Perfect. That works. Okay. Yes. All right. But I so, couldn't bring like an actual fart. Like I couldn't and bring it. Erica, a you may have found something, but you were late. So save it. So save it. I will. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, I was However, wondering. you guys did get that one. So $2 to the group. All right. All right, so our second category, you can't use the same product, so you might as well just leave it right there on the side because you can't use it again, is colors. Three, two, one, go. at this game <laughs> oh. okay i think i have one does right, that count? does green count for walgreens yeah definitely okay. walgreens yeah for sure if other <laughs> people heard that right i brought so many things down last time trying to make them fit the first category that i'm i have a plethora of things in front of me jesse what do you got So Northern Gold, no. Gold, right. that works. That's two. Tara, what did you get? Are we? You can keep going up. just to, to make sure. No, keep going. So what do you got? Uh, what do you, what's the color in that one? Green. Green. Yes. All right. Perfect. Let's see if the others can get it. If you can, that's just like amazing. <laughs> you still have 23 seconds. 23 seconds. No. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. It's Can okay. I we got three now. You, yeah, yeah. We, but you guys may have been awesome and brought them back. What do you got, Andrew? All right. So this might be a stretch. Calvin Klein and Nickel. 
Nickel I'd say color. nickel is a color. You I'm got it. Color. And Shannon, what was your color? I'm really bad at unscrambling things. I just grabbed something I liked. I don't know <laughs> colors. Coffee mate? Is that what Coffee that is? Coffee mate. It also, it, or rather, it would probably be Nestle. Yeah, Nestle. The only word I could pull out of here was 10, and that's not a color. I'm trying to think lens. of any. That's what, so lens. sweet of you, but Tat. it's. All right. <laughs> but you did get it because you had, you actually had four, but three people got it back in time. And so. Sorry, guys. $2. All right. Really? And the next one is going to be a toughie. All right. Bathroom words. Go. <laughs> All right. Anything to do with the bathroom. Can you reuse letters? Like, can you use a letter more than once or no? Uh, no, you have to use the letters that are on the package. So yeah, if there's multiple letters on the package, sure. Oh, I have one. Perfect, what do you got? I can get soap out of that. Yes, you can. Soap, got it. I guess it paid off bringing so many things back that first time when I failed. Hey, you know what? That was actually quite strategic. I did, don't know that I planned it that way, but I just grabbed stuff thinking when I got here, I could unscramble letters. Let's see what if anyone comes up with things like poop. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, if I can use the P and the O twice. <laughs> but then I was like, oh, wait, I can make soap. They have 25 seconds. This is hard. Come I know on, it is. I know it Come is. Come on, guys. Hey, we're towards Where's the end my here. Team? Gotta be hard. Just grab tons of stuff and have it in front of you. I've got tons of stuff. I'm just thinking of a bathroom word. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So any bathroom oh. words. I um, have something, but it's a little bit paper, it's, like toilet paper. Okay. Oh. So this is TN Dickinson's. Can we just leave it there? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Oh, I love <laughs> right. you, Andrew. And Shannon, you bring something back? Yeah. No. <laughs> Jesse, I brought something back, but I can't think of a word. I don't have Tara? a word. So we have socks in our bathroom. Oh. Hey, socks. I would say a sock would work. That's yes. Easy. All right. So we will. We got it. Two dollars for the bathroom words. Socks would be there. My, I have a pair of socks laying on the floor right now in my bathroom because, you know, I'm a pig. Just kidding. <laughs> I didn't really. It was actually the cat. Yeah, that's really what happened. Okay, your next thing is holiday terms. Three, two, one, and go. Any holiday. Any holiday, any term dealing with holidays. Things like present or family, okay. spooky. What do you All think right. about Charmin and Charm for St. Patrick's Day? Yes, I like it. Okay, Stouffers. Stouffers, but I'm thinking of stocking stuffers. S T U F F E R S. <laughs> yes, you're good. I did head and shoulders and reds, like the various color of reds for Christmas. Reds? Reds. I actually did the color one. Aries reds. Come on. I haven't gotten one yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because Christmas colors are red and green. Okay. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. What did you get, Jesse? This might be a stretch, but I got specially selects. And I got special. That's genius. Because it's a special day. <laughs> They're all special. Birthdays and all. Because yes. they're holiday specials, they put on and TV. And Tara, what'd you get? Because you guys are still, you still have three seconds, so you all made it back. Oh, you're on mute. Flavor organic. What is it? Flavor grown? I think it's, 
Yes. Gardener's own. All right. And what, what's your word? Snow. Got it. Snow. Nice. All right. Hey, you all did that one. Two dollars for the group for all getting that. Awesome. Very, very good. All right. This next one is going to be very, very tough. Good luck. Agents first names from this game. Three, two, one, go. Can be any of the agents from this game. All oh, 18 wait. of them. That has Erica in it. It does. <laughs> Bam, Erica. All right. If someone can find something with a J and a B in it. Two letters, but it's got to be a four letter. Sorry, guys. I was looking for Scott. <laughs> I was like, I'm like looking all around. I'm like, Scott, Carly. I looked at this for Carly. I was like, oh, I need an extra E. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm in there. Fantastic. This is probably the hardest one of all of them. Okay. We got one. Got one. We got one. We got 42 seconds. On, 42 seconds. Something with Tara in it. That's I, probably. Like... Yeah, you'd think it would be easier to find. Tara. You know what's stupid? I found Erica. Erica. Bath and Body Works spray for oh. the one, the, the bathroom one. I hate myself. Which one you had a spray? A Bath and Body Works? Right now, I have Garnier Fructis, and the name Erica is in there. <sighs> Garnier, yes, indeed. So, and Tara, yours makes sense because it has the S on it. Amy's right. because it's got to be four. So I, I got oh, it. Oh, and he's got Erica too. Erica, or so many Ericas. Else. 10 seconds. You guys all got it except for Jesse. Let's see if Jesse brings back one. Uh, out of time, but did you find one? We just ran out of time, but we had four. So we made it. But what'd you get? Uh, it's Jiffy. I was looking at America's favorite. Sorry. Jiffy, um, uh, I was gonna try to get I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. We got it. Two dollars for the group. The next one is school supplies. Anything dealing with school supplies. Three, two, one, go. Now I just have like an assortment of products. At oh, yes. I can't do that. So do I. I have mine sitting here too. Don't worry. They're all here. Products from my examples. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, there's any school supplies, four letter words. This should be easier, this one. Uh, what do you got? Oh. What is it? Oh. Apple? Right? Yeah. Totally. Well, what is the, what's the brand there? I, Apple. Apple. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got it. There you go. Air. I always call them air. What are they? The AirPods. 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 Yeah. I always say the wrong thing, and the kids always look at me like. Uh, same. same. Thirty seconds. You guys got it. School supplies. Hey, Twenty-five five seconds. For God's sake. I have <laughs> oh my God. D two. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. What do you got? Bells in music class. Okay, definitely. We can see them. What do you got? Neosporin has pens in it. Yes, it does. Pens, that's three. Pens. Pens, got it. All right. So, Andrew, we got four. We got four. So, we did it. <laughs> Thank goodness. That was only four that. more. Only four more, okay? <laughs> And the next one is, now let me give you examples too, okay? This one is types of vehicle. Can be examples like truck, boat, train, plane, bike, okay? Those sort of things. And three, two, one, go. Come on, do none of these projects, products have an S in it? That's the problem I'm having. <laughs> Ooh. 
What do you got? Old El Paso sled. Hey, sled. Nice. <laughs> Anyone else have Old El Paso? Bring back a sled. Bring back a sled. <laughs> Who else? Did anybody else get it yet? No, just you. Oh my God, what are vehicles? Sled, sled, <laughs> bike, shoes even. Um, um, okay. Bike, okay, what do we got? Ro Robert Mondavi Winery, does that whole thing count? Train. Um, I need the end for Oh, train, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Jesse? Chefs cover cars. Cars, all right, you did it. All right. Let's see what, if Tara oh, gets back. Shannon, did you find anything? No. All right. And let's see what Tara gets, if she gets anything. My problem is that 90% oh, of my stuff is Wegmans. Tara. I know. What do you got, Tara? Snack factory. Car. Oh, car. Or even cars, right? Nice. All right. See, I went with a much more old-fashioned vehicle. I, I found old El Paso, and I did sled. Why did I think I this was going to be I went through my recycling because I thought is. I had... It's really hard. I heard you say that, but I was like, damn, it's Ortega. <laughs> this is uh, a goat. Yeah, a goat I, this at the I actually originally had this at the start of this game, and I was like, no, this is crazy. So we need to go <laughs> less people to watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. And when I was planning it all out, I was like, this would be better at that. <laughs> it's hard. All right. So the next one is weather words. So some examples might be things like rain, cold, sunny, or heat. Um, other weather words count too. Three, two, one, go. White claw, white snow. I am really white going with the colors. How out. dumb is this? You know what? I'm literally beating my ass right now because you asked for colors and I had white claw right here. You asked for something about you might have something in there wet no what other things are on that that because white i'll take it but i think there's probably something better on it. weather uh, heat 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 oh, the word no but the word weather is in here if you do the whole white claw right. oh, hard right. seltzer i'm going with that title name weather all right i think that you what do you got tara uh, we've got uh hail Ooh, hail, nice. All right, and um, I actually think what's white, you have heat in there. You have heat in there too. Yeah. Heat, like, weather, white like snow. Yeah, you're good. Let's see if the guys get something. God, I'm so funny. We've actually, <laughs> we've actually I have, I'm not even every moving. single one. We've made our money, haven't we? Yes, yes we have. every single one. What do you got, Andrew? Um, so it's volcano, so cool. All right, cool. Oh 10 seconds to see if Jesse gets something. I think he did, yeah. I'm just saying Great Valley and I'm just saying great because the weather's great. I think that we could, um, we can find something in there. Uh, the Utem, uh, I, I, you all got it because all four of the, the others came in here, but oh, I think that- The French word grel means um, hail, G-R-E-L-E. -E. Done. That's even more fun. <laughs> We got oh, it. Give us yes. an extra hour. <laughs> That's what you were thinking, Jesse, right? When you grabbed yes. that? That was exactly oh, how it's, it was. It was so. not the French word of the day, but. <laughs> All right. There. So we have two more, two more. And you guys have done an amazing job so far. Everyone has, uh, you've gotten all the money. The ninth category is money words. So words dealing with money. I have some examples like cash, coin, broke, poor. Things that deal with money, all right? And three, two, one, go. Bringing it back. Coin. Happy body works. Coin Work. is in Work. Ticonderoga. Work. Coin, okay. And then what do you got there? Bath and Body Works says what? Work. Works. Gotta work. You gotta work for the money. There you go. He works hard for the money. I don't actually know that song. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take some of this time to put some of this crap away that I've already used, so... Oh, so that's two. We just need one more. Oh, man. Progresso, poor. Poor is in progresso. Hey, I'm glad I gave you that example. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like the chicken pot pie. And this one is uh, chicken corn chowder. Oh, I think that's my that's my chef cupboard. <laughs> Tara, what'd you get? All right, so the brand name is Cognitive Surplus, and totally make coin in there somewhere. You totally can. Cognitive, yeah, you definitely can. Cognitive, yeah. So many letters. <laughs> Let's see. Andrew has We're twenty-two good at this seconds. Game, you guys. Yeah, you I'm really proud are. Proud of us. You've you've uh, gotten every single one, and only like a couple of people really missed it a couple of times, and it's didn't matter because everyone got the money already. Uh, <laughs> the cats are in like the. Oh, you got seven seconds. What do you got? I'm I'm looking, but I don't think I have anything. Put it up. Put it up. It's scrubbing bubbles. I found the word cruel. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's not in there. <laughs> What do you get? Cash? Cash. Cash is cash in there? Is there an H? No H. Money is cruel. But you still got it because the others brought back something. So everyone gets the $2 for that. Oh, that a good one. And the very last one. Are you ready? No. It is emotional words like happy, anger, excite, those sort of things. And three, two, one, go. Cruel is kind of a judgment. But How about crap? crap? Crap is an emotional word. <laughs> I would say care is too. Oh, okay, but I didn't know if I but could I, just But take you got the word it. Care. You got it. I you went with cap. <laughs> crap. I feel like crap. Exactly. That's it works. that's it works. emotional right there. I agree. That's that's a current and state. I even for many. have another one. I could get hold on. Wow. Bad lighting. I could get calm out of Melaleuca. You got two there. I know what he got. Care. Care. And calm is in here too. Calm. Oh, I like calm there. 48 seconds. 48 seconds. Glee. Andrew Crap was in here too. <laughs> you got it. Glee. I liked mine that I Oh, in complete crap. care? Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's see if Shannon and Jesse can return with something, anything. 36 seconds. Calm, crap, and care. Crazy. Crazy. Right. Not to stigmatize mental illness, but sometimes I feel crazy. Emotional, sometimes feel crazy or like crap, which is what Erica picked. And it's thinking, so. buddy. Well, you can play with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know what I just realized? If this game is over, we're going to have to do the quiz. Wait, is this the last one? This is the last one. Jesse has five seconds. Five seconds, Jesse. Wait, everyone got one though, right? Yep, okay. but I think so. Wrapped? My attention is, is wrapped. Wrapped attention. Wrapped attention. That's a stretch uh, again. Let's see. I, I, think it's, I think it's uh, a no. <laughs> but I'm trying to think of what else that could be. Because there's, I don't think so. But it's okay because everyone else brought them back. But I and have now you have a snack. For everyone. Snack. All right. So you guys have earned $20 from this challenge. Ooh. 20 total dollars. So that means that you go up to, what did I have from before? 184. Uh, 184. And yeah. the mole is still at 60 because they didn't get anything this game. All right. Fantastic. But it's that time. Quiz okay. number 10. Tonight, there are 13 questions on the quiz. Some questions will definitely challenge you. Good luck, agents. All right, the players just took the 10th quiz, the toughest quiz of the whole game, but not as tough as the last quiz on the finale, which is going to be a 20 question quiz, remembering a lot of things from the whole game. Tonight, there is no little secrets twist because we are down to our final five and the secrets twist ended when we had six players, all right? So it's just to reveal who is safe and who is not safe. All right, are you ready? Tonight, Tara, you are first. And tonight, you are not safe. Hmm. Jesse, you are also not safe. Andrew, 
you are also at risk. What? Shannon, not safe. You know what you're doing. We're, we're, we're all Erica, also not safe. Everyone is at risk tonight. <laughs> and I had to do it dramatically, of course. <laughs> so let's hear some final words, final right. thoughts. Final thoughts from our final five here before an execution takes place. Tara, you're up first. Again, first. Well, you were first to be revealed, so. <laughs> um, wow, you just made me like super anxious. So now I have to talk about it. Okay. Um, same things as always. These are just actually just a really amazing group of people. So I will be super upset and that black screen of death um, I'm not looking forward to seeing it, but um, anywho, um, you guys are gonna be amazing. You're gonna be great and I'm gonna be glued and I wanna know exactly who that mole is. Um, and then we're all gonna have a beer together sometime. Fantastic. All right, thank you. And Jesse, you're up next. I've had a really good time playing this season. I'm glad that I was able to come back and do this and, and do it better and do it right. Um, you know, if any casting agents are looking, just get a hold of Matt at mattsultimatereality.com. Do you have a website yet? Uh, no website, but you can help me make one. Yes. Get a website because then you can find Jesse and then put me in your upcoming production. Final words. Après moi, Deluge. Which means? <laughs> Andrew. After me, the rain. After me, the flood. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Andrew, you're up next. Um, I'm having a really good time with all of you that are here. If I am ejected and put in the uh, chat of eliminated players, I will be glad to meet all our friends there. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. All right. Shannon. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I just want to say thank you as much as it would piss me off to be done at this point. Um, this has been an extraordinary distraction from the real world. Um, and these are all really great people that I would not have met otherwise. So I feel super thankful. Like what a weird experience, you know? <laughs> so true. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'll leave it. All right. And Erica. No. <laughs> I don't want to go. You need my purple hair in the fun finale. Shannon, Shannon doesn't want to be there without the purple hair. I mean, she, you know, uh, I, I'm tormented and scared, and I love you all, and that's all I got. Get the mole. If I'm gone, just get the mole, man. You guys are, you guys are my peeps. All right. Well, I will take the pain away from someone right away. Someone is automatically going into the finale, not eliminated today. That person is Jesse. Jesse, you are safe and you're moving into the finale. Oh, Jesse. All right. And I'm going to do it again. Someone else that is safe that is going into the finale is Shannon, congratulations. You're a part of the finale as well. And now I'm gonna reveal another person who's going into the finale. And that person is Tara. Tara, you're going into the finale. And you know that typically for the mole, there's only three finalists. So the first person eliminated tonight, joining the eliminated players chat and coming back to uh, join us again on Wednesday for the finale, but is no longer a part of the game is Andrew and Erica. As I said, this game only has three in the finale. But not this time. You are going into the finale as well. Oh the final four.
will compete in their final challenge on Wednesday before we meet back with all of our eliminated players who will then share with us their thoughts about who is the winner and who is the mole. And all four of you will be there. So congratulations, you have made it to the finale. Oh my gosh. Everyone we'll see everyone on Wednesday. Wednesday.